for problem number one. I'll be using the grouping method. So this is first group, first two problems, and the second group, this one. So what I like to do is find the greatest common factor of both. So divide all of these by one x squared for the first group. This is gonna give you three x squared minus seven. And then for this one, you divide all of these by three. Oops. So it's going to be 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. The x squared comes down. And then minus 21 divided by 3 is 7. So then we have 1x squared plus 3. And then 3x squared minus 7. And if you work this out, you will get 1 times 3 is 3x. Three you would add these, so it would be to the fourth. And 1 times negative 7 is going to be negative 7x squared. And then 3 times 3 is going to be 9x squared. And then 3 times negative 7 is going to be negative 21. And these match up. So, this is them for number 1. Moving on to number 2. x squared minus 14x minus 51. So, let me move this down because I'm going to get confused with the colors. Okay. So, we do is we find... Two numbers that equal negative 51 that will give us negative 14 when added together. So, So, 3 plus negative 17 does give us negative 14. So, then what we would do is x, x, the two x's give us the x squared here. So, we do plus 3, bringing that down. And then minus 17, bringing that down. And then uh, to solve it, to check our work, um, x times x is x squared. x times negative 17 is negative 17x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative 17 is negative 51.
And so negative 17 plus 3 equals negative 14x minus, this is supposed to be 51, I'm sorry, 51. And x squared, this checks out to be the original problem, meaning this answer is correct. Moving on to number three. Five X squared minus seventeen X minus twelve. So we would do this is A, B, C. A times C, which is going to give us 5 times negative 12. Negative So this does not work. Change that to C sixty divided by eight. Nope. Sixty divided by nine. Nope. Sixty divided by ten. Yes, but we already have ten here, so this is what we have to do for that. And then we do what plus what equals negative 17. So let's try 5 5 plus negative 12 gives us negative 7. So that's not it. Let's do 3 plus negative 20. That does give us negative 17. So 3 plus negative 20 gives us negative 17. So then we do we do then we use the grouping method and now G, C, F for this is going to be 1, X. And then the G, C, F for this is going to be, let me see. Alright, let's see if this works. 1x divided by 1x divided by 1x. 5 divided by 1 is 5x. And then plus 3 divided by 1x is going to be 2. And then 4. 20 divided by 4 is 
फाइव एक्स एन एन नेगेटिव ट्वेल्व फाइव बाय फोर इट्स गोइंग बी So since both of these are negative, this is gonna be negative. So this gonna be positive. So we're gonna get one x minus four and five x plus three. And when we do the math, one times five x one x times five x is five x squared. One x times three is gonna be three x. Negative four times five is gonna be negative twenty x, and then negative four times three is gonna give us negative twelve. And three minus twenty is gonna give us negative seventeen. So five x squared minus seventeen x minus twelve is going to be our result which is what we started with so this is our answer for number three moving on to number four nine x squared plus 18 x plus eight so we're going to do a b c a times C, which is going to be 9 times 8. It's going to be 72. So then we're going to do 1 times 72. And then 72 divided by 2. It's going to give us 36. So... Seventy two divided by three is gonna give us twenty four. Seventy two divided by four is gonna give us eighteen. Um I know it doesn't work for five. So seventy two divided by six is gonna give us twelve. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. Divided by 6 is going to give us 12. And then 72 divided by 7 does not work. 72 divided by 8 gives us 9. And 9, I'm sorry, 72 divided by 9 is going to give us 8, so we're done. Now we need to find what plus what equals 18. So I believe it's going to be 12 plus 6. Well, 6 plus 12. 6 plus 12 gives us 18. So then we're going to do 9x squared and 8 plus 6x plus 12x. All right, then we're going to use the grouping method. GCF for both. Oops. So the greatest common factor for 6 and 9. Let's see. I believe it's going to be 3. 3x. And then for 12 and 8... Let's see. I believe it's going to be four. So, 3, sorry about that, 3x
9 divided by 3 is going to be 3 x plus 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2 and then you're going to do 4 12 divided by 4 is 3 bring the x down 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then you're going to get 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 2. Now if you work this out, 3x times 3x is going to be 9x squared. 3x times 2 is going to be 6x. 4 times 3x is going to be 12x and 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 6 plus 12 is going to be 18x plus 8. So it's going to be 9x squared plus 18x plus 8. Which is the same as our original answer. So our answer for this problem is here. Moving on to number 5. 10x squared minus 23x plus 12. ABC. A times C. 10 times 12 equals 120. One twenty divided by two is going to be sixty. One twenty divided by three is going to be forty. One twenty divided by four is going to be thirty. One twenty divided by five is going to be twenty four. What plus what equals negative 23? One twenty divided by six is going to be. divided by 7 does not work 120 divided by 8 it's going to be 15 120 divided by 9 does not work 120 divided by 10 is 12 Okay, so there was some confusion, but I discovered that if you make both of the numbers negative, you will be able to get to negative 23. So, negative 8 plus negative 15 gives you negative 23. So, 10x squared and 12 minus 8x minus 15x. Use the grouping method. Greatest common factor of 10 and 8. I believe it's going to be 2x. Of 15 and 12. Oh, let me check. So 
gonna be three. Two X. Sorry, let me change colors. It's easier to see. 10 divided by 2, 10x squared divided by 2x is going to be 5x, 8x divided by 2x is going to be, negative 8x divided by 2x is going to be negative 4. Then we're going to do 3, divide this by 3, divide this by 3, since that has a negative, the 3 will be negative. 15 divided by 3. Gonna be five, five x because the x comes down, and twelve divided by three is going to be right. Twelve divided by three is gonna be four. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, so then it's going to be two eggs minus three and five eggs minus four. Two x times five eggs is going to be ten x squared. 2x times negative 4 is going to give us negative 8x. Negative 3 times 5 is going to be negative 15x. Negative 15x and negative 3 times negative 4 is going to give us positive 12. Negative 8 minus 15 is going to give us negative 23x bring down our other numbers this is what we're left with which is the same as the original equation therefore the answer is here for number five so moving on to number six i think it's the difference of two perfect squares So, what I'm going to do first is, I know that, I think 11 times 11 equals 121. And this is K times K. And 10 times 10. And M times M. So, what I'm going to do is, this is 11 squared. K squared. So then, um, we're going to do 11k squared, negative 10m squared, and then I'm going to do 11k minus 10m twice because of the square and then I'm going to work it out to see if that checks out 11 times 11 is 121 and 2k so it'll be k Square and let me just see my calculator to ensure it's right. right. And then 11 times, let me see, 11 times negative 10 is going to be negative 110. Km and 
and then we're gonna do negative 10 m times 11 so negative 10 times 11 is going to be negative kn and then negative 10 times negative 10 is going to be negative 100m squared. So I believe these will cancel out. They don't. I believe this is supposed to be plus. Let me check my work. I believe one of these is supposed to be plus, and I think it's this one. So let me rework that. 11 times 11 checks out. 11 times 10 would be positive. And then, okay. Then negative 10 times positive 10. Let me see. Would still give us negative 100. So now this all checks out. And let me see. And this would be giving us negative, I believe. Because negative 10 times 11 is negative. So then 1, 1 10 km minus 1 10 km give us 0. Sorry, 0. So these will cancel out, leaving us with 121k squared minus 100m squared. So this would be our answer for number six.